Yeah, we had a, a really solid fall uh, at the ITA Regional, then on the way to the ITA Nationals with Rosie and Deanna becoming number one in the country and then winning the Super Bowl. So that gives us a really positive uh, mentality going into the spring. So yeah, it was a really good building uh, point. Having a new graduate assistant for our women's side, Clara Perez has done a great job. So uh, it was a nice uh, stepping, stepping point for the spring. I mean, first of all, I still cannot believe that we're number one ranked now in the nation in doubles. It's completely a new feeling, but like, I feel good about that and I think, of course, we have more pressure because like, we're number one, we have to win basically everything now. But I think like, it also gives us a little bit advanced um, of, of our um, other double teams we are competing with because maybe they are scared of us, maybe they are a little bit worried how it they perform against us, and I think Jan and I will profit out of it. You know, they're very hardworking. Um, they're very enthusiastic. Uh, they listen well. They're buying into what, what we're preaching, uh, Clara and I. So, uh, you know, so far, so good. We're keeping our fingers crossed. It's a long season, and we're just going to take it match by match, day by day. So early, we have some NEIA schools, and then uh, we go on and play the number one team in the country, Armstrong, early February 14th. So that'll be a nice test early. And, uh, you know, we look forward to it, but it's a very busy late March and a very busy April. I mean, first of all, our season is pretty long. We have like a lot of matches in February, March and April. And I think one of the key points will be that we all stay healthy, that we all can put every time our best effort because we need to do that because our conference this year is pretty strong. And I mean, myself, I always tell myself, like, there's no limit if you dream and work hard enough. So basically, if we all want to go there and want to win and compete in a national tournament, we can do it. We, ch we just have to believe in ourselves and we have to work hard. But we have the potential for it. And I mean, I still dream about it to go there because it's also the the big uh, nationals where all the spring sports meet and I think it would be a great experience for us all. You know our conference in our region is loaded. You know I think four of the top five teams in the country are in our conference. So it's a challenge since only two teams NCAA Division II is based on regionalization and not by the quality of the team. So even though we made it to the quarterfinals last year we're still ranked fourth in the country. Um, so it's going to be a challenge. St. Leo's a high quality team. You have Barry, you have Nova, we have West Florida in our region as well, so only two teams come out of four teams in the top six in the country. So it's going to be a challenge, but we look forward to it. And, uh, and when you get through our region, you're ready for the national championships.